Hey y'all, welcome to Art of the Budget. My name's Nicole, my pronouns are she and her, and I live in the Pacific Northwest, uh, which is the traditional territory of the Coast Salish people. I'm currently in central Montana doing a um, artist residency slash being on vacation. And um, that's what I wanted to talk to you about today. As you could see from the title of this video, I wanted to talk about progress, not perfection. Of course, this relates to all areas of our lives, but especially when it comes to the budget. Um, I had a goal this year of saving $10,000 by the end of June. And if you watched my last budget reconciliation, then you know that I did not make it. I came in just over the $9,000 mark. Um, and in the first two weeks of July, I made the choice to take two weeks off and drive from my home in Western Washington to central Montana. Um, I do get paid vacation, but I don't have any right now. So not only am I taking those two weeks off, but I'm choosing to take them off without pay. Um, based on my calculation, that's about $1,500 worth of pay. Um, I did bring down my budget as much as possible during June so that I won't have to um, use as much as I would in a normal month, but of course I'm traveling so I'm going to use more. And what I've decided to do is to pay my salary out of my emergency fund. So there are a couple of things wrong with this decision. First of all, it's not an emergency. Um, and second of all, I didn't even make my first goal to begin with and now I'm gonna take money out of it. Um, so yeah, that's not the best thing to do. Certain money gurus would not approve, um, but I work um, a lot of jobs and I work in education. So real quick, I wanted to talk about the jobs that I work. Um, just for funsies, not exactly as a justification for my choice, but um, I work as a full-time art studio technician. So I work Monday through Friday from 8 to 4.30. Um, I also adjunct during the school year, um, one class per quarter as an adjunct professor. And that's two days a week from 5.30 to 8.30. And additionally, I teach a community art class. And um, that is every other Friday from 6 to 8.00. So if you're keeping track, that means that there are days when Monday through Friday, I work from 8 a.m. till almost 9 p.m., sometimes later than 9 p.m. Um, so it's pretty intense. And of course now it's summer, and so my schedule opens up a little bit. Uh, my technician position, it's still full time, but we work 10 hours a day, four days a week, so Monday through Friday. Um, I choose to work eight to 6.30, and um, I'm not teaching in the summer. So um, I decided that because I've been working really hard all week and I'm not, com or all year, I'm not complaining. I chose that. Um, I chose that in order to try to reach that financial goal. Um, but I decided that, uh, you know, it's, it is taxing and um, it feels pretty hardcore. And I was feeling, a, I was feeling a good amount of burnout that it was the best thing for me <laughs> to take a vacation. Um, so I'm also an artist. I would consider it an additional job to make my own artwork. Um, one that I rarely have time to do during that busy, busy school year um, that I chose this year. So I uh, worked with my friend who's a director at an art uh, center and I came out here and so I'm vacationing and exploring, but I'm also making work in the studio. And so it's really fun. It's a chance to um, play and not to work to an exhibition deadline, which is also really exciting. Um, and it's a chance to just kind of like renew and rejuvenate. Um, but I am doing it at the cost of some of my emergency fund. Now I'm going to pick back up in the fall with that busy schedule and I should be able to uh, crush that goal pretty quickly. Um, I am going to do a video where I talk about my goals um, now that we've reached, we've just finished up the six month mark. Um, so I'll talk a little more about that, but I should be able to crush that emergency fund goal pretty quickly. And um, because of that, I decided that this was the right decision for me and, um, you know, for me and my practice and for not reaching burnout. Um, I'd love to know what you think. Uh, I'd re really love to know what you do. Uh, when you're busy and, you know, making that money, increasing that income, what do you do to avoid burnout? Let me know down below. 
All right, thanks for watching.